Let's start our practice. Therapeutic yoga, yay. Come to your mat. Gonna practice beautiful lesson of therapeutic yoga today. Come to a comfortable seat. It can be any comfortable seat. Even if you wanna sit on a pillow or on a block. To make sure your hips are a bit higher than your knees, that might be more comfortable so your knees and legs don't fall asleep. Just entering our practice right now with a little meditation. Breathing deeply. Connecting your mind to your body and your body to your breath. Make sure your spine is long and your heart is open. That you're not leaning too far forward when you open your heart. Sometimes that happens. Make sure you're still really sitting on your sit bones and sitting down in your spot. It's still a long spine. And as you breathe deeply, See if anything changes in your posture. Sometimes after a couple breaths, we'll start to sink, or maybe our head will start to rise up. So see what happens in your body. And slowly adjusting to keep it in the center, to keep it aligned, to keep it comfortable. Today we'll practice all the outer values. The values are gates, portals to your body with energy, with life, with air, wind, openings and closings. We'll go over the five outer ones today. There are also five inner ones, but we'll do those another time. <sighs> Practicing the values allows us to replenish our body, make us feel less tired, less groggy, cleanse our system, give us more energy, even add a glow to our skin, to our skin texture, to our face. So if you practice these daily or often, you'll see really amazing benefits in your energy and physically as well. So let's start to learn about them. We'll come into the first one, which is Naga Vayu. It translates to snake. From your seated posture, you're gonna inhale deeply, turn towards the right, and exhale, sticking your tongue out from your mouth, all the negative energy within you, within the world, anything you want to release from you. And really push it all out. Like don't, don't just do like a half exhale. You wanna like a fire breathing snake dragon. <laughs> Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, turn towards the left. We'll do two more on each side. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. One more each side. Inhale through the nose deeply. Exhale, right. Last time, inhale. Exhale, left. Taking a moment before we move on to the next one. Feeling this deep emptiness, like you just lost maybe five pounds or something. You just feel lighter, a little bit more empty. You just released all that negative energy. Really moving that circulation. We'll move on to the next one. Kurma Vayu. Translates to turtle with those big open eyes. So we're gonna inhale, 
And slowly open the eyes as much as you can. Really opening up those eyebrows, opening up your eyes as much as you can without your hands, just uh, helping you visualize. And from here, look up. You don't have to look too far up to strain the eyes, but just in the direction of up to help you open up a little bit more. Keep breathing, keep opening them. Try to not blink as much as possible until you start to tear and then exhale and close for a moment. We'll do two more of those. Inhale, start to open. Look up, keep opening. Try not to blink as much as possible. Keep opening, keep spreading your eyelids. And once your eyes start to tear, exhale, close the eyes. Last time, inhale, open the eyes widely, look up. Keep opening, keep focusing, trying not to blink as much as possible. I know it's difficult. And then when you need to, closing the eyes, exhale. That bayou focuses on clearing the eyes, finding more clarity, working on your sight. Should also bring you up with a little bit of energy immediately from opening your eyes widely. We'll come into the third bayou, the third outer bayou, Krikara bayou, which translates to pepper. This helps us to clear congestion in the face, any blockages in our sinuses. So we're going to scrunch the face, like really scrunch your nostrils up, cheeks up, lip up, everything is scrunched, eyebrows towards each other. And you're going to start actively inhaling and passively exhaling. Yes, it looks weird, it's okay. It's part of the volumes and it's a beautiful thing. So scrunch the face and start actively inhaling and passively exhaling. And then exhale, release. Two more times. Scrunch the face and go. Release. Last time, scrunch the face and go. And release. You should feel clearer sinuses, a rush of energy rushing through your face, through your sinus ducts. This also is related to hunger and thirst, so working on this bayou can help regulate that and balance it out for you if you feel an imbalance there. Moving to the fourth bayou, Devadatta, which translates to God-given. We're just going to start yawning. Just by faking it, you'll see that your body will respond and actually start to yawn. And see if you're yawning more on one side and try to do the other side. And try centering it. Maybe letting out any sound. This value is connected to releasing any stale energy, any stale air that's inside of you, renewing it, adding fresh oxygen to your cells and to your body. <sighs> nice. Coming into our last outer value, Dhananjaya, translates to victory or victorious. We're gonna inhale, reach, make a fist with your hands, and inhale, lift the hands overhead, feeling victorious here. Opening the chest, heart open, strong arms here, strong fists. Maybe a yawn will come out as well. That's okay. Just feeling the energy rush through your body, the power, the courage that runs through you. Then exhale, completely drop the hands. <sighs> completely releasing, letting your hands hit your thighs. Do two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale. 
exhale, drop. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Take a moment returning to your seated meditation. Hands on your knees, eyes closed. And feel anything you want to feel out of that body practice, out of that gait practice. Noticing all the differences in each one. Noticing if you're feeling more energy or more clarity, less tired, more cleansed, maybe even a glow to your face that you can feel radiating. And we will slowly open our eyes. We'll enter a little vagus nerve massage, allowing us to activate our parasympathetic systems. Massaging behind your ear and your neck, on the sides of your neck, the back of your neck. Give yourself a little self massage, you deserve it. Just to feel really nice and relaxed. Maybe a bit in the shoulders. If your hands are clean and you feel comfortable, maybe a little face activation. Letting the circulation in your face flow. No stale energy, keeping everything light. And release. Taking a moment to see how you feel after that. If you instantly feel more relaxed. I know I do. And we'll slowly come onto our knees. Coming into a toe stretch. Knees together, heels together. And we're going to sit on our heels, going deep into the soles of our feet, working onto the health there. It's the base of our standing posture, so we really want to give some love back. And close your eyes. And start to enter some head circles here. In one direction. Allowing us to focus less on our feet than on our necks for the next couple of moments. Releasing any tension in this area. Feel free to move as fast or as slow as you please. And going to the other direction. If this hurts, just know it's totally okay. It happens in the beginning and that when you practice this posture more often, You'll find you can hold it for longer and longer months of time. And slowly come forward. We're going to do the opposite. Knee, he, uh, knees together, feet together. <laughs> and we're going to lean back onto our fingertips and lift our knees, stretching the fronts of our ankles now. Making sure our spine is still long. If you want an extra challenge, you can slowly remove the hands and bring them to heart center. Or you can stay on your fingertips. From here, we'll move to a tabletop position. Hands beneath your shoulders, knees beneath your hips. And your legs are a hips distance apart. Make sure they're not too close or too far. Find your neutral spine here for a moment, pressing into your fingertips, pressing into your legs, feeling strong in your tabletop, no pain in the wrists or the knees. If your knees are sensitive, you can put a blanket underneath or a small pillow. And if your wrists are sensitive, you can bring them out a little bit further in front of you so they're not at a 90 degree angle. From here, we'll enter a cat-cow position and movement. Inhale, look up, allow the belly to drop towards the ground. 
Open the shoulders back, chest forward. And exhale, push on your hands, push on your legs. Round your spine towards the sky. And do a couple more at your own pace. Inhaling and exhaling with the posture. Some people like to do this more slowly and really feel every inch of the movement. And some people like to do it a little bit more quickly, feeling a little bit more flowing, a little bit more energy. Whatever suits you right now in your practice. And we'll start to do circles with the spine in one direction. The hands and the legs will stay the same, really. It's just movement in the shoulders, the hips, and the spine. And to the other direction. wide child's pose, opening the knees to the width of your mat and slowly lowering down, allowing your chest to hit the ground. You can be on your chin or your forehead and if this is difficult you can stay on your elbows or maybe bring a nice pillow here and lay on that pillow. Taking a moment in child's pose to release any tension, any pain from the back, the whole back is being stretched out right now. Feel your breath in between your thighs, your belly inflating and deflating. If your head was to the side, so switch sides now. Or stay in the center if that's where you are. And from here, we'll look forward and inch our way onto our bellies. <sighs> Coming into Makrasana, crocodile pose. Bring your hands in front of you and rest your forehead onto your fingertips. And your heels will be towards the center, not outwards. So bring your heels more towards the center and your toes outward. This is a great pose to release any lower back pain. Just sitting here for as long as you'd like in the future. <laughs> Last deep breath in our crocodile posture. And from here, we'll bring our left hand out and our right hand underneath our body, across your chest, on the ground. And then bring your upper body, scoot until your body's really on top of your arm. Your hand should be coming out on the left side. Then you can just rest the forward down here. You really want to get pressure onto that arm. Working on the shoulder. Come back to center, switch hands, bring the right hand in front of you and the left hand under your right armpit and come back down. Again, if you need to scoop your body more on top of your arm, you can. You should feel a really nice deep stretch in your left shoulder now. This 
is a yin posture called the shoelace. First we do each side. And then we come back to center and we do both of them together. So you're gonna put your right hand underneath your left armpit, coming back to how we started, and then bring the left arm across, so they'll crisscross each other. From here, you're gonna take your toes and inch your body forward over your arms, and then relax again, head, forehead back down onto the ground. You can also be on the side of your face, whatever's more comfortable for you. Slowly coming back to center, we're going to switch arms. Bringing the left arm under your right armpit and your right arm across your body as well, making an X with your arms. Again, feel free to scoot the body forward a bit to put more pressure on the arms here. And then release your head down to the ground or look towards the side. Stretching both the shoulders deeply at the same time. Then we'll slowly release and turn on to our backs. Coming into our last relaxing posture for the day for our practice. You're going to bring the right leg over the left and then allow the legs to fall towards the left side. Hands will come out to shoulder height and look towards the right. Coming into a deep, nice twist here. Breathe deeply, release any tension from the back. squeezing anywhere. You don't have to squeeze the legs together. Release. Make sure you're releasing completely. Getting in tune with our yininess. Our yin postures. Holding them for long periods of time. Allowing us to go deeper into the connective tissues, the fascia, which enables us to release even more tension Feel more flexible, more relaxed. Slowly come back to center and switch sides, bringing the left leg over your right leg. You can bind them together or just keep it on top. And bringing the legs towards the right side now. Hands come out shoulder height. Look towards your left hand now. Again, releasing completely into your posture. Zero tension, zero active muscles here. Slowly come back to center. And we'll enter our Shavasana. Let's take a variation on our Shavasana today. Bringing our feet mat, mat to a distance in the width. And then we'll bring our knees together towards the center of the mat. This will create more space in our lower back and in our sacrum, opening that whole lower back area. So if you have any lower back pain, so will be a great posture instead of doing a laying down Javasana. Hands by the side. Also, if you have a pillow, you can keep the legs straight and just place a pillow under your knees. That should also uh, reduce any strain on the lower back. 
And slowly just start to release your body into the ground, melting completely, breathing deeply. Taking these couple of moments to completely heal the body and give it this proper love and attention. Continue with me to end our practice together. Taking a couple last deep breaths, filling the body with new oxygen. And slowly, just feeling without looking, we'll meet in a comfortable seated posture. Returning to your normal breath. Feeling relaxed, rejuvenated, and present. Bring your hands to heart center and rub them fast and hard, creating Reiki energy. And send it to your body wherever you need that extra love, that extra energy, extra healing, your stomach, your back, your heart, wherever you need to personally send that extraness. And bring your hands to heart center. Thank you for practicing with me today. Hope you enjoyed learning about the values and going through some relaxated postures. Thank you.